Wolf Blitzer, Stu Rothenberg, joining us from yeah. Aurora, Illinois, his hometown, the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Dennis Hastert. Mr. Speaker, thank you for being with us. As you hear this analysis from uh, Stu and, and Wolf, uh, what's your reaction? Republicans, too, up net at this point, but we're still waiting for some important races to come in. Well, we're cautiously optimistic. Uh, we have uh, been able to defend our seats in Kentucky and North Carolina that we thought that we ha may have a challenge. Uh, we have an interesting uh, race in Connecticut uh, that we may uh, pick up a seat that we didn't expect. And, uh, you know, we have to go in. I think uh, we're doing as well as we can expect. It's, uh, it's going to be a long night. Uh, we have to see what happens in California, obviously. But I, I feel good about the, the position that we're in. When do you think you'll have a sense of what the new house is going to look like? Well, it might be uh, early tomorrow morning before we really know what the... <laughs> how early like. or how late, I should say. <laughs> I wish I know. I guess we're all looking at that crystal ball. Yeah. It probably won't be uh, much before we uh, determine who the new president's going to be. Well, speaking of that, uh, we're looking at a very close race. Are you surprised, Mr. Speaker, that we're looking at a race with, what, 49% to 48% of the popular vote and just a few, what is it, 231 Gore to 237 Bush? in the electoral vote at this point well we just figured that this is going to be a tough race we knew it was going to be close uh, we figured it was going to be close in the house it was going to be close in the senate it's going to be close in the presidency nobody obviously in this uh, election period was running away with it but we've tried to get our uh, themes out there we're talking about balancing the budget and paying down the debt and a better education for our kids and that have been pretty well united our, thematically and i think that appeals to people no matter what happens from here on out, it's clear that this country is divided in a big way in terms of its view, of it, not only of the man it wants to lead the country for the next four years, but in terms of philosophy. That being the case, how can the House of Representatives and the Senate do business with a president when the mandate seems to be so split here? Well, you know, that's why we need uh, both in the House of Representatives and the Senate and in the presidency to try to bring people together. You know, the important issues, education, uh, health care, are things that should be partisan. They ought to be bipartisan. And uh, we need to, to be able to bring our arms together and, and get those things done. You know, 90 percent of the issues in health care, people agree on. We ought to be able to split the difference in the other 3 percent and get it done. And Mr. Speaker, uh, when you say it needs to be bipartisan, are you saying that all the fault lies with the other party here? I'm not or? pointing the finger at anybody tonight. Uh, it was pr pretty evident in the House of Representatives this year that the strategy of the Democrats is to try to block everything so that they could run against a do-nothing Congress. We didn't let that happen, but it was awful tough to get anything done when that was the strategy. All right, uh, House Speaker Dennis Hastert joining us from his hometown of Aurora, Illinois. We want to thank you very much for being with us, and we look forward to been my pleasure. talking with you very soon again once we know more about what the outcome of the House of Representatives will be.